Hi, I'm Max Walker-Williams, and today we are going to be looking at the supply of HBAR. So I've had a few people on Twitter, at M Walker Williams, say to me, Max, can you do a video on the supply of HBAR, how they're being distributed, what, you know, what's happening, because there are some people who are genuinely curious and don't know in the Hadera Hashcraft ecosystem. And then there are also trolls, of course, on Twitter, that say, oh, it's a fix. You know, they're, they're sort of doing things uh, underhanded with the, with the H bars, paying themselves and all sorts of things and trying to time the market as well. So I thought this would be a really good video to make. One, because it's really interesting. Two, because it'll hopefully be some content that you can use if somebody is trolling you or is genuinely curious or misunderstands the situation, you can just link them to this video and you can save doing all the talking yourself. So let's jump straight into it. And if you're not already, please, have a look in the description below and you'll see a link to my Twitter. You can follow me there. I'd really appreciate it. And you can join in the conversation. I have actually replied to every single tweet that warranted a reply since joining Twitter. Okay, there is some genuine confusion over the release of HBARs by Hedera and the HBAR Foundation. Most foundation uh, grants are in USD and the price of HBAR is always fluctuating. The foundation does the right thing and honors the grant amount uh, promised. This can mean more H bars are released than planned. So one of the one of the things that people say is, oh, they just give you know they're flooding the market with H bars. They're just selling them for their own um, for their own ends, and that simply isn't true. And when they're saying they, they generally mean the H bar Foundation. Of course, the H bar Foundation was set up um, and received H bars from Hedera in the first place so that it could encourage people to join the network, build on the network, and also as a business incubator to help inject cash into businesses to grow quicker on the Hedera network. Um, and so what happens is that most grant applications, so anyone can apply for a grant, and I'll pull a link in the description below to the HBAR Foundation's grant page. You fill out a form, you have a conversation, and then you can apply for a grant. And the smallest grant might be a few thousand dollars, all the way up to millions and everywhere in between, of course. And so people apply for the grant, they're successful, they get you know, promised the grant, but it's usually in USD. And they'll say, okay, so on day one, uh, they'll say, yes, you can have a $10,000 grant. So $10,000, fantastic. But in order to give you those $10,000, the HBAR Foundation, of course, has to sell HBARs in order to pay you the cash. However, there is a process to go through from agreeing the grant to giving you the money. There's paperwork for you to sign, you know, there's back and forth, there's bits and bobs, solicitors and that sort of thing, legal due diligence and all sorts. So on day one, the HBAR Foundation agrees to give you a $10,000 grant. But let's say it takes 30 days for the due diligence, for the paperwork, for the signing, all that to happen for you to actually receive the money. Well, the price obviously of, of HBAR is fluctuating all the time. So what do they do? So if on the day they agree to give you $10,000, and let's say that $10,000 or 10,000 pounds equals 10,000 H bar. So it's one pound or dollar, one H bar. But let's say 30 days later, for some reason, the price of H bar is halved or doubled, you know, whatever, it's fluctuated. And it's now on the day you're due to receive your money, H bar is now 50p or 50 cents. They now have to sell 20,000 H bar in order to give you the same amount of money. And that is why you'll see the amount of HBARs, they can't actually truly predict, nobody can predict the release schedule of HBARs. So the HBAR Foundation might set out to say, okay, we're going to be looking to release 100 million HBAR this year in grants. But 100 million HBAR might be 100 million pounds on the day they say it, but actually the price starts to drop off a bit or the price goes up, they have to give, they have to sell less HBARs to honor their commitments or they have to sell more HBARs to honor their commitments. But the word I keep using, I don't know if you've noticed, is honor. And that's the thing, the HBAR Foundation honor their obligations and I think that's absolutely fantastic. But the fact that we, with the crypto market in general, no fault through Hedera's, but FTX falling away, and then other things in the crypto market, crypto winter, all of the prices of crypto have fallen away, but the promises that the HBAR Foundation has made to grant applicants, uh, you know, on, on the day that FTX collapses, they still honor that USD amount. And that is the explanation for the fluctuation in the HBAR release. And they try to stay on schedule as best as possible, but it's obviously hard to do with the price fluctuating. Okay, and the other thing people seem to get confused about is Swirl Slabs. So Swirls Labs was set up to build applications and solutions for Hedera. 
nothing to do with Hadira. So I've put nothing to do with Hadira, Lehman and Team, best place. So Lehman uh, obviously uh, solved the asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerant, and I've explained all of that. I'll put a link to a video that I did previously explaining to my, at the time, 86 year old father, now 87, uh, about how Hadira Hashcraft works and why it's so fantastic. So Lima's done that. There aren't really any other improvements to make on Hadira. Of course, you can make products and things that build on Hadira, but the network itself is, is done. So it's asynchronous Byzantine, Byzantine fault, uh, fault tolerant. It meets ISO 222 as a banking standard. And it is what it is. You know, you've invented fuel, so now we need to build cars to use the fuel. And so there isn't or wasn't really much for Lehman and his team to do at Hedera. So Swells Labs was created and uh, Lehman, Mance and their entire team moved over to Swells Labs in order to develop layer two products and software and solutions for people like you and I to use when building businesses. On top of the Hedera mainnet, of course. And at the same time, April 2022, Hedera went open source Mance, Lehman and Devs move over to Swirls and the Hedera board and the GC, that's Governing Council, govern the network. So there's nothing to do on Hedera other than to maintain the network. And so the Governing Council member of Google and the like and the Hedera board, they maintain the network day to day and just govern it. The builders and the Lehman and Mance and their team have moved over to Swirls Labs. However, Swirls needs money to get established it was agreed that circa 4 billion HBAR would be paid. And now the reason I've said circa 4 billion is because again, like above, the exact amount depends on the price of the HBAR as above. Now people are saying, well, when Hedera are making a transfer because they're paying in 4 billion HBAR, circa 4 billion HBAR in total in installments, it's not in one big lump sum. So they do, and this is all set out, this was all set out and agreed back in uh, 2022, um, they, they make, uh, tranche payments and so when they make a payment Twitter goes a bit mad with people saying oh the market the price has dropped look they've chosen today because the price is less to transfer all these H bars over they then hold the H bars the price goes back up and they've got a lot more money they're timing the market they're playing their game and that's factually incorrect it's just not true and we can prove that so the dates of payment was pre-agreed and the H bar price is an average of the previous 30 days. So if I say I'm going to pay you 4 billion HBAR and I'm going to pay you 1 billion this year, 1 billion next year, 1 billion the year after and so on. And we're going to do it on the 1st of August, but we're not going to pick a, t a price on the day of 1st of August because there's still minor fluctuations or if there's big news, it might shoot up or shoot down. Um, what I'm going to do is take the th previous 30 day average and then I'm going to pay you that price. So if I'm going to give you a million dollars, I'm going to give it to you on the 1st of August based on the price of HBAR. So I can't possibly predict what the average price for the previous 30 days for next year is going to be in terms of HBAR. So there's no way that they're fixing the price, fixing, they're not playing any games. They're just trying to get an amount of money from A to B in order to build things that we all want to see happen on the network and help businesses grow on the platform. And so what a fantastic way of doing that, because anyone who accuses Hadera or Swirls or anybody else in the, you know, the HBAR Foundation of trying to fight, uh, price fix or, or you know, uh, play a game, it's just simply not true. It's impossible. How do they know what the price is going to be on a 30 day average that hasn't happened yet? So the other thing, the last thing, the third point of this is people say, well, wow, 4 billion HBAR. Max, that is a fortune. And yeah, you're right. But and this isn't a fact, it's just my opinion, I believe it's a great use of funds. What better spend for Hedera gives a better ROI or return on investment? And I'll get to why I think these two things in a second. So to give you some context, 4 billion HBAR at today's price, which is 5 pence and 2, or 6 cent and 3, American. If you do 4 billion times naught, uh, sorry, 0 0.052, it equals 208 million pounds, about $230 million. Crypto.com paid $700 million to sponsor the Staples Center. So we have 37 engineers, seven developers, 16 product developers, 
18 marketing experts and 10 other admin, you know, finance, etc., legal, compliance, and all that sort of stuff. So you have 88 of the world's, and by the way, this includes Mance and Lehman, 88 of the world's greatest minds in their respective fields, or for three times the price, you can have your name on a billboard. Which would you choose? If I said to you, you can pay £100 and have 88 of the world's greatest minds working in, on your business, or you can pay £300, have nobody working at your business, but have your business name on a billboard, which would you choose? I certainly know which I would choose, which is why I think, in my opinion, it's a great use of funds. And it's also why I can't imagine a, a better potential return on investment than having those good people working to build applications, products, and all sorts of other things on the platform. So I hope that's cleared up a bit of the nonsense for HBAR circulating supply. If anybody's giving you grief online or saying, oh look, they're doing it again, they're transferring funds and they're timing it perfectly, you can point them to this video and hopefully they'll see that's absolute nonsense. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.